Oh, bless you. Bless you again. Bless you, sir. Sure. Hello my beautiful butterflies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beverly, and it is lovely to see you today. In this video, you're going to be spending a whole week with me, so grab that cup of tea, let's get to it. So today I meant to record, you know, intros and things this morning and it's now like nine o'clock at night. The day just kind of got away from me. I was feeling a lot better today because I don't know if you saw last week's vlog, but I was in bed ill all week. <laughs> it was a really hard week. And so I kind of, today was the first day that I felt well. So I um, changed the bed, washed all the bedding because it was sunny as well so I could hang washing out. It was a good day so I got like three loads of washing done and got it dried and I changed the bedding and I edited last week's video which you will have seen by now obviously. I'll still leave a link to it though down below in case you would like to watch it. And then we watched a murder program on Netflix as, as we do. It was quite a good show. And here I am, me and the little doggy, getting ready to put him on our PJs and clamber into bed. So now it's bedtime and I apologise for being terrible at vlogging today. Really monumentally bad. I'm going to head off to bed and tomorrow's quite an exciting day. Oh. Tomorrow's quite an exciting day because I've got to finish the video and get that out to my Patreons because Patreons get videos early, early access to all my videos. So it's only £2 a month for Patreon and you get a few like little perks. But really it's just, you know, if my content helps you in any way or if you feel like supporting a disabled creator, it's £2 a month. Thank you to all my Patreons. Tomorrow morning, Little Twig is getting his hair cut. So is Dexter. They're having hair trims. And Little Man needs it. I've just brushed him. Look how long his hair is. You can barely see his little peepers. He looks like a fraggle even more at the moment. Doesn't he look like he should be living on Fraggle Rock? My little boy. But yeah, he's getting his hair cut tomorrow. He looks like a womble. Oh my goodness. Anyway. I'm going to bid you all good night. Tomorrow we're having shopping come in. I'm going to be recording a video, editing a video. And little man's going to get his hair cut. So uh, stick around and uh, I shall bid you all a good night. Hello my lovelies, happy Tuesday. I hope you're all doing well. I am starting to finally feel a bit more like myself. I did have a long lie-in this morning. It's about 12 o'clock, I think, about lunchtime. Yeah, I know, shocking. I just, I needed to rest. We're going out Friday and it's Tuesday today. And as anybody who even remotely tries to pace nose you have to take it steady you have to take it slow and so this week i'm going to do my very very best 
to just pace it out. So I had a long lie in this morning, been watching Gilmore Girls and dozing in bed. And I don't think I'm going to do a video for Friday. I think I'm just going to have the rest of the week off. Other than my blog post on Wednesday, I just feel like that's going to be the best thing for me. I need to rest. I need to get over this cold. And I've got this like sexy Celine Dion deep voice thing going on at the moment. But uh, I need to get well for Friday. That's my... I've been waiting to meet Toady since 1995. Yes, 1995. So I'm really, really excited to meet him. That's all I can think about. And so I just need to really look after myself this week and really be careful. So that's where my thoughts are. And today I think I'm just going to do my very best to have a chill day. I think I really need just to have a chilled out day. I hope that you are doing well today. <sighs> but yeah, pacing is not easy for any of us. I don't think I don't think I've ever met a single person who finds it easy to just relax and have a good week. You know, there's so much pressure from society to do your best and be your best and rush and get things done and tick things off your list and it's so hard to let go of that but we've got to get better at it guys we've got to get better at it so I'm trying my best but as always if you want to see what I wear just check out my Instagram I generally post my pictures up there it's just a day of self-care and self-love that's all I've got planned <laughs> Well, that's Wednesday done. I don't know where today's gone. I woke up quite early, to be honest, and then I got a blog post written. Got that, got that out. I'll leave a link to that blog post down below. It was all about reading and why reading's important to me and how I read a little bit every day, even when I've got like chronic illnesses, fatigue and stuff like that. And then I was going to edit a video. But uh, instead, <laughs> instead of that, I fell asleep on the sofa. Yeah. Twiggy! Where are you going? Twig! <laughs> Where are your bins? What are you doing? I don't know how that happened. Slept all afternoon. Feel a bit foggy now. I think I'm gonna have a shower just to like help me relax ready for the night. Sometimes I like to have a shower before bed because then if you're tired you're getting into bed you're going to sleep. It's not a big deal. So that's my plan. Little, bo little man's downstairs with his brother and his nan and just get myself ready because Friday I'm gonna meet Ryan Maloney. I'm gonna meet Toadie. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I can't even tell you how excited and nervous and I just, oh, I just can't wait. I just can't wait. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Let me know down below if you watch Neighbours. I mean, if you've been watching my vlogs, you will know I'm a huge fan of Neighbours. Huge fan of Neighbours. So I've got to really pace myself. We've got to drive like over an hour to where we're going to see him in Shrewsbury. And that'll make my day, to be honest. Starbucks and Toady. Is there anything better than that? I think not. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going with the flow at the moment so that I can be in the best place and be rested, ready to go on Friday. Let me know. Let me know if you're excited. I'm going to vlog as much of the day as I can. I don't know if they'll let me vlog like inside or the actual VIP experience. We'll see. I don't know. I have not a clue. I'm just going in blind and I'm so excited. Yee! Anyway, we'll have a shower and I will see you all in the morning. Good morning, friends. It is Thursday and yeah, we're meeting Toadie tomorrow. So I'm sitting here just chilling, 
resting away. I need to be really careful this morning because I don't want to, I don't want to do too much today, but I've got lots going on. So I need to be really, really careful. This afternoon, I'm going for a pamper session. I'm going to my best friend, Amanda's. She's one of my Patreons as well. So she's an amazing friend and I'm having a pamper. She's going to do my eyebrows. She's going to do all my waxing. She's going to trim my toenails for me because I'm not allowed to do that because I don't have feeling in my feet. So I have to be really, really careful. We're going to have a pamper so that when I go and see Toady, I feel and look my best. Bit of glamour magic going on. So I'm really, really thankful for that. This morning, I'm just kind of sitting, chilling in bed. My wonderful husband just bought me a cup of tea and my tablets. And I always feel bad just sitting in bed when I'm like feeling okay-ish. But I'm working on a number two today. If you've got the visible app, you'll know that's not good. You get a number one to five. Five means you're having a really, really good day. And today I'm on two, so it's not good. It's not good. So I need to be really, really careful because this afternoon I'm going to be being social and chatting to my best mate. There's a lot going on and I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed today. So we're just going to sit and chill for a bit. We're going to relax, head into our day gently. Yeah, let me know how you do it the day before a big day out. So we're going to chill up here for a little bit and then we'll get on with our day. lovelies happy friday oh my goodness i'm so excited i'm all dressed as if i'm i'm going we're not going for a couple of hours but i'm so excited because today we are traveling to shrewsbury which is about an hour away in the car and i'm going to meet toadfish rebecca and i'm so excited I'm so excited. My lovely husband got me VIP tickets, so we get to meet him. I'm, 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 I just, mm, I can't believe it. I haven't done my makeup yet. I'm going to do that in a bit when I've cooled down after my shower, but I've done my hair and I've got dressed. I've got my moth earrings on. I've got some fiery wall of protection on my necklace, as well as this, which is and it's a little rose. Can you see that? My husband got me this from Etsy years and years and years ago for a Valentine's present. I've got all my rings on. I've got my protection bracelets on because I don't know what people are going to be like. I don't know the sort of energy people are going to come with. I'm assuming very excited, but who knows? They could come with really horrible energy. So I'm protecting myself today. And I'm really, really excited because I'm, I'm going to meet one of my favourite actors. But let me turn you around and I will show you what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this beautiful dress. It's a shirt dress and it's by Laura Ashley. I thrifted it last month. 
it is so sparkly it's so pretty and underneath i've just got a cami and some leggings i'm gonna wear dr martin's and i'm feeling good i'm feeling good i'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on i've got my bag ready i need to put my stuff in and i'm just excited i'm excited to go and meet toadie i'm just i'm just so excited today i don't know what makeup i'm gonna wear yet but um yeah i'm here and i'm excited so we're off on our adventures now to go and see Toady. We're off to Shrewsbury, so uh, let's get going. They're absolutely full up on Starbucks <laughs> and Waitrose sandwiches, uh, cheap lunch and that will keep us going for the rest of the day. Lee is just figuring out the um, directions, what do you call it? Sat nav. Sat nav on his phone and then we'll be off. It is Saturday today and I've been resting all morning. I've just got a video edited and I realised I didn't I didn't finish the video. I literally we saw we came, we saw, we conquered, I met him, Ryan was amazing, or Toadie as you may know him. Yeah, he was an incredible, incredible actor and he's a lovely person and I'm just even more crushing on him now than I was before. But yeah, I forgot to do an outro. I literally got in the car afterwards, it was like half past ten, we still had an hour's drive home and I just went to sleep, didn't vlog. And we couldn't vlog in the theatre, like you were not allowed to video or do anything like that. So I thought today, while it's in the middle of a thunderstorm, I'd just come and chat to you all about what happened what we talked about, what the stage show was like, and all of that malarkey. Where do I begin? It was really nice the way they'd set up the VIP because you paid extra to have VIP access and so there was like a queue of people outside this room and I was like, what is going on in there? I thought it'd be set up a bit like a convention where it's kind of a conveyor belt. You go past the table and then, or you have a photo with them, but it wasn't. It was just him and you in the room with his um, assistant, manager, tour manager. I don't know what that person's title was, but he was kind of his partner in the whole Toad on the Road tour, I guess. Helped write it and, and present it and everything. He was lovely, really, really good on stage as well. But he was the one in charge, basically, of the queue. So you queued outside this room and then you went into the room and, and the geezer was there. He was really nice. He took the phone off of us. So I'm going to put up some pictures uh, while I talk because in that room was so... It was just us and he was very personable, very handsome, of course. I know a lot of people just think of Toady as being that boy back on Neighbours with the long dreads, but he's not that anymore. He's a married man. He's going to be a director next. And I knew he was handsome because I've always watched Neighbours, but 
oh my gosh, so much more handsome in person. And we talked about Sonia's death and that episode and how incredible it was. He asked my husband if he watched Neighbours and he was like, kind of, you know, I kind of have to because Beverly watches it and her mum watches it nearly every day. So it was just amazing to be in the room with Ryan and to get to know like him a little bit, like see how he is as a human. Because obviously when he's Toadie's in character, but this was just him being himself. He was lovely. He signed my tote bag and he signed my, they had like a poster and a t-shirt and a pen and you could buy all these things together for like £30. So my husband very kindly bought them for me. Um, so he signed those things and we talked about Sonia's funeral and just how much that episode meant to us and how much it really helped him how, to show off his acting skills and how incredibly talented he is. The guy who was with him took like five million pictures as you've seen and it just was incredible to have the whole thing documented. Like he was just taking so many pictures of us. I got to have a nice snuggle with Ryan. You know, after being a fan of him, like I'm, we're the same age me and Ryan are. We were born the same year, 1978. So it's really funny to think that we were born in the same year, yet he's this like really famous and very accomplished person and I'm this little disabled YouTuber. But I have no Fs to give. I absolutely loved meeting him. I just was crushing so hard. I still am when I think about it. I've got this like little crushy little grin on my face. Very easy to talk to, very lovely. Um, and it was lovely that we got to have a little bit of time with him. It wasn't like rushed through. And because you took a photograph on your phone, then it was like you posed for pictures and then you could talk for a while with him. So that was really nice. Uh, what else do I want to say? Yeah, seeing him on stage was incredible because I've seen other actors on stage. Going to London to see people on stage on stage is not easy to do for me. I think the last person I saw was John Boyega on stage and he was absolutely incredible. Incredible on stage, like electric. Honestly, electric, just so talented. This was like a whole two act stage show. He talked through all of his time on Neighbours and it was really good because they had a big screen at the back and it would show like scenes from Neighbours and pictures and stuff. He shared stories of like Margot Robbie and uh, people like that who were on Neighbours and his experiences with them and what it was like. He talked a lot about his own childhood and his starting out and then he recreated what it was like from the actor's perspective filming such a big scene as Sonia's funeral. It was just really incredible to see how quickly an actor can get to that such like an amped up level of emotion to be able to then deliver that sort of scene. If you have not watched Neighbours, you just look up Sonia's episode where Sonia passes away because it's an incredible episode it got nominated for awards as it should it was the only episode where they didn't have the actual intro and outro the only episode where it was just two actors on the whole episode incredible incredible and to see from his perspective but also to have him talk through that episode and what both actors were going through him and Eve and what it was like to film just amazing I just loved it even if you're not a Neighbours fan like my husband is not a Neighbours fan Lee has watched a few episodes when I've been watching but he's never actually watched it and he wouldn't know which character was which other than Toadie obviously because I talk about Toadie a lot it was so interesting for him because it was like how actors get into that mind space and behind the scenes and stuff so it was really really cool I really enjoyed it and then the second half was a lot of talk about mental health I have depressive thoughts 
I have negative thoughts. I often go through depressive episodes because I have chronic depression. It's one of my illnesses. And so just to hear his advice about how he comes through it and how he deals with that, so inspiring. He's an inspiring actor. He's somebody who I really look up to. I'm, I'm just so proud of him. I've, I've grown up with him. Like he started on Neighbours, we were the same age and we've grown up together. I've grown up watching Toady and I just feel really lucky that I got to meet him at such a crucial point in his journey as he says goodbye to Neighbours and says hello to the future. I hope he writes a book. I would love for him to write a book about his experiences on Neighbours and go more in depth into things because obviously one... I don't know if the mic picked up that thunder clap, but oh my goodness. I think I'm going to go downstairs, but yeah. Ugh. I can't remember what I was saying. That really shocked me. But uh, I'm going to go and chill out under my blanket with my teddy bear and my dog <laughs> because it's chucking it down the rain. All I want to say is it was an incredible show. I really loved it and I'm so thankful that I got to go. Thank you, husband, for paying for me to go and meet one of my heroes. I just feel so lucky. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video this week. I'm loving weekly vlogging, so let me know down in the comments. Are you enjoying it too? I hope so. And if you are, don't forget to leave it a cheeky like as it helps me to know and the YouTubeverse to know that you enjoyed this video and it will spread it out just that little bit more. And while you're down there, if you are new here, click that subscribe button, ring that little bell so you always know when I upload. I'm usually here on Mondays and Fridays. It all depends on how my health is. So I am going to try and be here as often as I can. I still can't figure out where the camera is on my phone. I'm sorry guys. I'm going to go and chill out. Oh dear. <laughs> Take care everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful, magical week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.